اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین والصلاة والسلام علی خاتم النبیین وبعد السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ I want to remind you the verse number 196 of Surah Al-Hajj, of Surah Al-Baqarah. The verse 196 is about a special ritual of Hajj, a special mansak, and, and please listen to it in Arabic and also in English. Uh, it's translation in English. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. وَأَتِّمُوا الْحَجَّ وَالْعُمْرَةَ لِلَّهِ فَإِنْ أُحَسْفِرْتُمْ فَمَا اسْتَيَسَرَ مِنَ الْحَادِي وَلَا تَحْلِقُوا رُؤُوسَكُمْ وَلَا تَحْلِقُوا رُؤُوسَكُمْ حَتَّى يَبْلُغَ الْحَادِيُ مَحِلَّ فَمَنْ كَانَ مِنْكُمْ مَرِيدًا أَوْ بِهِ أَزَمْ مِنْ رَأْسِهِ فَفِدْيَةٌ مِنْ سُيَامٍ أَوْ صَدَقَةٍ أَوْ نُسُرْ فَإِذَا أَمِنْتُمْ فَمَنْ تَمَتَّعَ تِلْكَ أَشَرَةٌ كَامِلَةٌ ذَلِكَ لِمَنْ لَمْ يَكُنْ أَهْلُ حَادِرِ الْمَسْجِدِ الْحَرَامِ وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهُ وَعَلَمُوا أَنَّ اللَّهَ شَدِيدُ الْإِقَابِ This is about Hajj and Umrah. The special point which I want to remind you, I will tell the translation of that point. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said وَلَا تَحْلِقُوا رُؤُوسَكُمْ حَتَّى يَبْلُغَ الْحَادِيُ مَحِلَّا don't shave your heads until the, the sacrificial animal reaches its place. And the Prophet Muhammad wasallam informed us that the animals of sacrifice must reach Mina. So this means that sacrifice is to be made in Mina. And after that, uh, head is to be shaved. What happens that in Hajj? When we, uh, on the second day of Yomul Arafah, yani on, 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 on ninth day of uh, Zil Hajjah, we stand on the plains of Arafat and then uh, sleep uh, in Muzdalifa, that is given the name Mash al Haram. In, in the Holy Quran, in, in the context of these verses, we sleep there. In the morning, before sun rises, we leave Muzdalifa, we come back to Mina. Uh, and then uh, we, we throw stones on those uh, pillars, which are the symbols of Saturn. And after that, uh, Haji, the pilgrims, they go right away, they sit there, and there, there are hairdressers, and they shave their heads. And there is no action of the sacrifice of the animal. Because they already gave money to some organization, to some bank, to some, a group of people to do sacrifice for them. And then they shave their heads, and they think their hajj is complete and perfect. But very, very special emphasis is put on this point in the Holy Quran as well as in the Sunnah. In the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in this ayah number 196 of Surah Al-Baqarah. Verse number 196 of Surah Al-Baqarah Al that وَلَا تَحْلِقُوا مَحِلَّا Don't shave your heads until the animal of sacrifice reaches its place of slaughter. This is the Quran. And the Prophet Muhammad wasallam was the one to present the Quran to us according to the method which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught him. We have to follow Quran according to Muhammad wasallam. Muhammad wasallam said that the animals of sacrifice must reach Mina. So that means when a pilgrim throws stones on those pillars, the Jamarat, then he must make sacrifice in Mina and after that he has to shave his head. That is very, very important. Woman doesn't have to shave her head but she has to cut a little hair. So please 
remember this point try to understand the holy quran because you know many things allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveal directly in the holy quran and no one no one can change, change the holy quran and the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam explained the verses in words orally and also practically he also made a hajj and uh, and, and confirmed these things practically by by uh, giving sacrifice of so many camels in mina so the sacrifice is to be made in mina before the head is shaved may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us understand the holy quran and follow the holy quran in accordance with the uh, prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from hell and take us to paradise uh, because you know a haji a pilgrim thinks he had has made hajj he is clean from sins but he didn't make sacrifice and he shaved his head so he went against the quran and against the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and on the day of judgment if that hajj is thrown to him is not made kabul is not accepted by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then what will happen think about this may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us right on the on the path of islam which is from quran and the sunnah of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam subhan rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al mursalin alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ala ali muhammad kama sallaita ala ibrahim wa ala ali ibrahim innaka hamidum majid